Today on Big 12 Showcase Women's Sports Special, fall sports have wrapped up and attention turns to the indoor season. We'll look back on the cross country, volleyball, and soccer season where the Big 12 Conference made a couple of big runs for a national title. And we'll share some special Christmas memories with some of the stars of Big 12 Women's Basketball. It's another showcase of the inspiring women of the Big 12 Conference on Big 12 Showcase, a women's sports special. the campus of Texas A&M University, and a key national championship destination. The Women's College Cup was held here recently, but a little more on that later on in the show. Howdy, I'm Julia Wilkinson of the Texas A&M Women's Swimming and Diving Team, and for the next 30 minutes, we are gonna go over the Big 12's impact on the national championships during the fall season. We'll first talk about cross country, where a U.S. Olympian standout from the University of Colorado was expected to make a major splash in her final year of eligibility. Let's take a look back at cross country in the Big 12. The Big 12 fifth overall. Congratulations to Jenny and all of the athletes who did the Big 12 proud on the national stage. Up next, we'll join Aggie soccer standout Nicole Ketchum as she gives us a complete wrap up of Big 12 soccer. That's coming up next on Big 12 Showcase Women's Sports Special. for the Big 12 Showcase Women's Sports Special. I'm Nicole Ketchum from the Fightin' Texas Aggie soccer team. Behind me is where the NCAA National Championship game was held recently. Unfortunately, none of the Big 12 schools made it into the College Cup, but it was still a very exciting season as far as Big 12 women's soccer. Missouri and Texas A&M were both picked. Welcome to Norman, Oklahoma, site of the recent Big 12 Tennis Championships and for this edition of Big 12 Showcase Women's Sports Special. I'm Brittany Baldy from the OU Tennis Team. We'll get to our view of Big 12 Tennis in just a bit, but first up is softball. With the regular season coming to an end, the annual Big 12 Championship is right around the corner in Oklahoma City at Hall of Fame Stadium. Let's take a look at who our big swingers are in Big 12 softball. The Missouri Tigers emerged early example of, of a lot of hard work that's been put in. Best of luck to all those conference teams moving on into the NCAA tournament. The national championship will remain in Big 12 borders as Texas A&M hosts the tournament for Division I teams and singles. It's a two-week tennis carnival through mid-May. There's much more to come on Big 12 Showcase Women's Sports Special. Up next, we'll be joined by Texas Tech golfer Megan Dowdy with a review of Big 12 golf as well as track and field. Welcome back to the Big 12 Showcase Women's Sports Special. I'm Megan Dowdy from the Texas Tech Women's Golf Team, and we're here today at the Rawls Golf Course, which I like to call a diamond in the rough. You can find this course in the West Texas Plains just off of the Texas Tech campus. This link style golf course has proven to test the golf skills of golfers on all levels, and just recently it hosted the 2009 Big 12 Women's Golf Championships. Oklahoma State came in as the top ranked team in the Big 12 and also came in as defending champions from last year. So let's take a look back. It was a windy first two rounds in a year ago, yet the Tigers got another solid weekend from Julia Porter. Selected teams now head off to one of three NCAA regional tournaments where they will hopefully compete in their spot in the national championships. This year, it's held in Owings Mills, Maryland. 
Along with women's golf, Texas Tech University is also set to host another Big 12 championship in track and field. And up next, we'll tell you which athletes you'll want to keep an eye on when Big 12 Showcase Women's Sports Special returns.